When you see this icon, pause the presentation and restart when you're ready. The eSkill National 5 Gallic Learners course was developed with the help of the following bodies. So this is uh, lesson 5.2 uh, and really it's Dahan, colours, Dahan. And um, colours and Gallic are interesting, really uh, open the door in the landscape in particular, which many people are interested in. But again, it's quite basic vocabulary, which you as a learner at National 5 level need to really be revising yourself. And just make sure you've got them uh, and you don't want to lose marks just because you kind of had forgotten what a colour was and things like that. So, um, but this will hopefully open up some things to you. So, and there's also a few um, conceptual uh, differences between colours in Gaelic and colours in English. So, Dahan. What colour is it? Je and da a ha air. What colour is on it? Je and da a ha air. And again, a little bit like numbers, the the uh, colours in Gaelic, uh, the way they're spelt, it's quite a good way to learn how to say most of the phonemes in Gaelic. Um, and you'll see them as we go through. So, Try to colour code these as much as possible. If you're like me, you're a little bit colour blind. I hope this works on the screen you're on. Um, so, Jerak. Jerak. Gorom. Gorom. Uanye. Uanye. Buye. Buye. Lia. Lia Purpi Purpi Pink or Banyerak Pink Banyerak Du Du Glass Glass Gyal Gyal Down, down, also over, over, orange, orange, or etiquette, or etiquette, gold and silver. So we'll go back through them, all the way back to the start. So we'll just go through them, make sure you've got them. Jerak. Gorom, Uanye, Buye, Lia, for light blue, Purpi, Pink, Banyerak, Du, Glass, Gyal, Down, Oer, Orange, Or, Etiquette. So we're going to learn a few wee, uh, vocabulary uh, words whilst we do this, but uh, we're also going to uh, look at here. So this is a kiarco, kiarco, a circle, kiarco. Jinta a ha ir a kiarco. Jinta a ha ir a kiarco. Hailia, hailia. Jane da a ha ir in runak. Runak. Jane da a ha ir in runak. Ha i orange. Now, did you notice that it changed from ha e for a masculine noun and e for a feminine noun? Gensi. A jumper. Jane da a ha ir agensi. Jane da a ha ir agensi. The jumper. Hi, Jerak. Hi, Jerak. Brickish. Brickish. Jinta a ha ir e vrikish. Hi, tu. Hi, tu. So it's very simple. You're really just doing that very basic thing that we did with the describing uh, the weather. Hi, fluch. Hi, tu. Car. Jin da a ir a char. Hai buye. Jin da a ir a char. Hai buye. 
Jinta a ha ir in linea ti. Jinta a ha ir in linea ti. Hai pink. Hai pink. Jinta a ha ir in frikish garage. Jinta a ha ir in frikish garage. Hai uanye. Hai uanye. Jinta a ha ir a vonage. Jinta a ha ir a vonage. Hai glass. Hai glass. Jinta a ha ir na meetigan. Jinta a ha ir na meetigan. Ha eid gorum. Ha eid gorum. Now, if you want to find out if something's masculine and feminine, um, you can always look it up in a dictionary. As you get through it, we'll look further on. There are ways to tell if a word's masculine or feminine, uh, usually by the ending of the word. Um, and most native speakers know it just kind of by instinct, because that's the way they talk. Uh, you get used to it. Um, but if you do want to check, look at a dictionary, and there'll always be an M for masculine and a, or an F uh, for feminine next to um, the nouns in most good dictionaries um, that uh, that are for Gaelic, and if of course if it's a plural like meat again, it's eid use, and the plurals have a slightly different action. Now, colours um, we've already kind of looked at the fact that lia is there, and most uh, this was something that uh, I worked on personally with Storlan Nashington the Gaelic. If you go to the Storlan website, you'll get a lot of. Um, resources. If you go to the Caymanin website, um, you'll find lots of resources for learners and um, we'll try to cover as much of the things that are in those books um, through this course as well. But if you look here, first thing is the, the paint pot attitude to learning languages in Gaelic doesn't work because there's a lot of subtlety in it and this is why we created this kind of spectrum and we made kind of two families um, for, um, I guess you'll see on the left, the the Buya and the Jerak Karko, and it goes all the way through Buya, Orange, Down, Ruagown, we'll come to Ruag in a second, Jerak, and then Purpi, Pink, Banyarak, Gyal, Or, Buya, Or. So you, you, you end up with um, different um, levels of um, that kind of thing. It's all kind of in a you'll see that there's a bit of subtlety in terms of how colours are visualised. And it's, this is quite common across different languages. Different languages deal with um, colours in slightly different ways. So, uh, for example, azure, light blue, being a, a, a colour, you know. And the same thing applies to, uh, the same thing applies to um, uh, a few things. Uh, you have do gorum, gorum, Turk Gorum, Uanye, Erigid, Du, Glas, Lia. Now, Glas, Lia, and Gorum we're going to look at, and Uanye we're going to look at in particular in the next one. And then if you look at the bottom, you'll notice that there's people with different colours, and you'll notice that Lia uh, is for the person with grey here. We'll look at that in a second. person with yellow hair there is Ban, and then we have a Ruag for uh, red here. So we'll look at that in a second. Um, you notice there's a cow there that's oer, and also you'll notice that the fruch, which we would say is purple heather, purple heather, the bonny purple heather, is fruch jerak. Okay, fruch jerak. And if you notice over the, the highland cow, that one is ruig, it's looking at some grass, some fear. I got on. Now we're going to come to this here. What's the problem? So, colours in Gaelic are different from English in many ways, and often in particular words in the green, blue, grey part of the spectrum, there are some things that appear odd to people used to seeing colours as stuck in paint pots of sorts, as I said. They are often subtleties, and sometimes are a legacy of when that word was used for colour, but the language has moved on. So, when we look at food, you'll encounter this word here, glasrich. Now, glasrich is the Gaelic for vegetables. And obviously some people refer to vegetables in English as the greens. And that's really what vegetables are in Gaelic. They are the greens. And glass gets used um, for um, green in Irish. Um, so for example, in Irish they would say ta and crown glass. Like tree is green. Okay. There's a very famous song about Gwador in Donegal. 
uh, where they get ground in glass Guador, the green glens of Guador. And so they use that there. Now, so they don't use uanye, they use glass, which is what we would use for grey. Now, there's a very, very famous Gaelic uh, song which just goes Sound the Nila Ila Ila Sound the Nila Rukigmi Sound the Nila Ila Ila Sound the Nila Voyoch and it's a, quite a standard kind of song to sing. But it has a very confusing uh, um, uh, verse which goes Sound the Nila Gorum and your Rukigmi so Hokigmi if you're listening there you'll know Rukig is Hokigmi Sound the Nila Gorum and your Rukigmi so Hokigmi so Rukigmi so Vami so and what they're saying is Isla of the blue grass, the green grass, and that's what they're talking about. So this idea is almost like that musical style from America, the blue grass. And the idea of blue grass is 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 there as a thing. Now that also extends to other parts. So people say Ham Fier Gorum, the grass is green. Um if it's green grass, Han Fier Gorum. It's it's just a conceptual thing. People, for example, blue, if you remember the, the, the dress issue. People do perceive colour differently, and um, blue was the last colour that humans kind of start to define, so it's an interesting one. Um, in Monaglia, the grey mountains, the Monaglia, that big massive between uh, Loch Ness and kind of the A9, um, the great glen in the A9, that's in Monaglia, um, the grey mountains, but people would talk about Han Iermalch Lia, the sky is blue, Han Iermalch Lia, so it's a light blue. And but people, as we looked on the last one, ha felt lia orum. I have grey hair. Ha felt lia orum. I have grey hair. But you also then see people talk about the Green Island. Chimi and Chelen Uanya, as they sing in the song Sky by Ronnig. Chimi and Chelen Uanya. Now it may seem confusing to you at first, but these things are just part of how people perceive colour, and it is hard if you're going from a specifically monoglot environment or from just mostly dealing in English to think that there's slight subtleties in colours when we get trained so much to say that colour is that colour is that colour but there are so many different colours and blends that this is actually quite natural. So what we're going to look at though is Udoch and we're going to look at Udoch and when we talk about Udoch we're going to talk about clothes. Now clothes in Gaelic are useful for learning about the gender of nouns. Most clothes are feminine nouns, whether they are traditionally masculine clothes or not, but also many tend to appear in the plural, so this is a different effect, effect upon the adjectives which can be used to describe them. In these examples we'll use the colour Jerak to highlight these changes. So there we have Gensi, Gensi, but Gensi Jerak, a red jumper. Feljig, Kilt, Feljig Jerak, a red kilt is also another one. So there's not many masculine nouns in terms of quotes. Most of them are feminine nouns and you'll see what they do. Brikish Yerak, Brikish Yerak, Brikish Gurraj Yerak, Brikish Gurraj Yerak. And the short there is already, short trousers, is already lenited, so you notice that it lenites. Dresse Yerak, Skirte Yerak, Dressa Yerak, Skirte Yerak. Lenya T, Lenya shirt, Lenya T, t shirt. So whether it's a red shirt or a red t shirt, it's Lenya Yerak, Lenya T, Yerak. Bonage, Bonage Yerak. At, At Yerak. At, Bonage, Lenya, Dressa, Skirte. Brikish Gurraj, Brikish Gensi. Two other words, Jeshe and Pechak. But all they, what they do is they will Now the next bunch of Udoch clothes are those which are plural. Now most of these are um, feminine in the singular, but you would never usually have just one of these. And one is Mitak, Mitak. Mitagin. And look what happens to the adjective. Red gloves. Meetik and Jerica. Meetik and Jerica. Brog spores. Brog and spores. So brog and spores Jerica. Brog and spores Jerica. 
Brog, Brogan, Brogan Jerica, Brogan Jerica. Stalking, Stalking in, Stalking in Jerica. Now, one word that's masculine is the word Bohtan for a boot. Bohtan and boots. Bohtan and Jerica. Bohtan and Jerica. So what they tend to do is, if there's not already a, an adjective at the end of a, and sorry, if they're not already an A at the end of the adjective, they'll put that, or a vowel at the end of the adjective, they'll put an A on the end without monition. But there are some plurals which do one out, but we won't encounter them yet. Um, some other ones, mostly this is due to the fact that these were the ones that were available on the computer when I was looking for little pictures. Croon. It's a crown, obviously. Sherkajvik, a small jacket. That's actually one word we haven't got in there. Sherkaj is a jacket. Sherkajvik is a small jacket, or in this case, a bra. Sal Salian Arste, high heels. Salian Arste. Spiakorin, or Gwanichen. Spiakorin, or Gwanichen. Draj, Draj. Draj Yerak, Clogged, Clogged, Clogged Lochonach, Clogged Lochonach, a Viking helmet, and an Uridder, Uridder. So that's just some other pieces of clothing with a gender of the noun indicate. So, using that Orom, the same Orom that we use when we talk about ourselves um, in uh, Gaelic, we have um, this one here. So, for example, Hello, it's Misha Kelline. Ha Lenya T. Yerak Orom. Ha Prikish Gurridge Uanya Orom. Note that the U doesn't change. Ha Brogan Spores Orange Orom. So there's Colin. He has a red t shirt on. He has a green shorts on. And he has Orange trainers on. What an outfit. And if we look over to the other one, we have Hi, She Shonak in Tenemahorum, Ha Spiakon in Dua Orum, Ha At Uanye Orum, Ha Lenye Glass Orum, Ha Brikish Furpi Orum, Haniel Brogan Orum. Here we go. So uh, read the profiles where they describe the clothes they are wearing and then write your own based on your favourite outfit. Welcome back. Um, we have hair colours in Gaelic. Now, hair colours in Gaelic are interesting. There are three special colours for talking about hair in Gaelic, and we've looked at them a little bit on the, the circular way. But what we have here is we have ban, blonde, and ban means an absence of colour. It can also mean blank. So, you see, example, a, a blank page is a duyak van, a blank page. Um, then you have the word ruag which means red, and it's used for kind of red, natural colours in nature. And the famous Highland outlaw Rob Roy really meant Rob Ruag, Rob Ruag, Red Robert, Rob Ruag. Then you have Lia, which we use for grey, but only when we're talking about hair colours. Lia, okay. And down and do remain the same. Down, I guess, do. So falt. Now falt, like your clothes, is on you. So you use orom, orst, air, ora, the same ones if you go back to the one when we talked about our names, those ones there. So ha falt ban orom, I have blonde hair. Ha falt du ora, she has black hair. Ha falt du ora. Ha falt ruag air, he has red hair. Ha falt ruag air. Now you can add other adjectives after the colour. Ha falt down fat it orum. I have long brown hair. Ha falt down fat it orum. Ha falt lia gurridge ir eain. Ha falt lia gurridge ir eain. Ha falt ban fat the curloch orre. She has long curly blonde hair. Ha falt ban fat the curloch orre. Of course, you might be unfortunate, <laughs> or just very senatorial and distinguished, you might be bald. And if you want to say you're bald, you say Hami Mool. 
Hami Mool. You can also say Hami Loom as well, but Hami Mool. Hami Mool. Now, if you want to do eyes, um, you have if you have you have eyes in Gaelic, they're not on you. That well, they're in you, but you see, Hasulin uh, Akam. I have eyes. Hasulin Akam. So note how the adjective changes for the plural. And again, you'll see again how it works. Hasulin Dona Akam. Hasulin Dona Akam. Hasulin Gorma Akam. Hasulin Gorma Akam. Hasulin uanya akam. Hasulin uanya akam. And hasulin dua akam. Hasulin dua akam. You could also say hamo hulin down. Hamo hulin down. That means my eyes are brown. Okay? Um, that's a structure which we haven't just addressed quite yet, but you could also use that one. So, and there, uh, nobody's ever told me what the Gaelic for hazel eyes are. I just said they're brown, so that's it. Um, next one. Uh, read the profiles where they describe the clothes that, you're that they are wearing, and then write your own based on your favourite outfit. Include your hair colour and eye colour. So, you may have something similar already um, from the previous slide, but here you go. Yeah, I'll just read these ones out, though, and then you can pause it. Hello, it's Mr. Rool. I felt bad courage or him. I saw him down at Akam. I leaned to glass or him. Ha breakish goo or um. Ha broken spores gorama or um. Hi, shashina in tenem a or um. Ha falt do fata curla or um. Ha soul and gorama akam. Ha lane ti lia or um. Ha breakish uanya or um. Chaniel brogan or um. Smisha behak. Ha falt down gurridge curla or um. Ha spiacor in or um. Ha soul and uanya akam. Ha gensi purpi or um. Ha skirt gown or um. Ha salen arsh de jerica or um. So pause it, write your own profile. Valtirash, eh, so we're looking at enim and ache le tahan. Place names with colours. Enim and ache le tahan. And here's a list, some, may, some you might know, some you may not. And we're just really going through a, a few, these are just eh, some that I picked up in that. So for example, you have Bain Jerak. Bain should one night, but doesn't always. Ends in D's, don't tend to one night. Uh, if there's an N, the adjective, even though Bain is feminine, should be Bain Yerak. Sometimes it's Bain Jerak, so you get, depends on dialect quite a lot of the time, whether an, uh, a word will um, do it. That's also the case with Unjiag, in fact. Un should one night, but because it's a D, it doesn't. Um, back for 11. But Bain Jerak, so there's tons of red mountains. Then you have though a monig ruag, and you'll see ruag more than Jerak in, in place names. Um, that's the red mountains, and that's what we call the Cairn Gorms in Gaelic. A monig ruag. Um, on the other side is a monig lia, so that could be the grey or the blue mountains, but the grey mountains, and they are quite bleak um, in comparison to monig ruag. But then we have Cairn Gorm, is Cairn Gorm, and that's the blue. Cairn, okay, the Blue Mountain, and Cairn Gorum. So there is that subtle difference between the mountain, Cairn Gorum, and in Monagruig, the Red Mountains. A very interesting thing for those of you who are also mountain climbers, there is no such thing as the Red Kuans in Sky. There is only the Kuan, the Black Kuan, but it's just the Kuan. Um, they are called in Gaelic, the the Red Hills. Anyway, carry on. There's Lochan Uanya in uh, the Green Loch, the Green Lochan in the Cairn Gorms. Uh, and Town Down, the Brown Hillock, Town Down, Tom Dunn and Lochaber. And Tood and Ban, the Fair Face, the Fair Place, uh, Eden Bain and Sky and Tood and Ban. You have Och Buye, up in Sutherland, the Yellow Loch, Och Buye. Drochadruai, the Bridge of the Red River, at Roy Bridge. Um, Ach Ilivuye, Achaltibui, the Field of the Yellow Boy. Um, Ach to be using Quig Ach, the five fields, Quig Ach. Uh, Ur the cage, Cave of Gold, famous Gaelic song in Pibroch. Uh, Ur um, named after that, uh, about a piper going in. Um, and in fact, being attacked by the Eigal Uanya, uh, the green bitch, the green bitch dog, um, which he can't fight off because he's got his pipes. He's playing the pipes to scare it off. Uevenor. There's Rundu, Rundui in Caithness, which just means the black area. Rundu. 
Then there's Umblardu, which is the Black Plain, which is the Gaelic for the place of Muir of Ord. And there's another Blar, Umblar and Oer, up in Betty Hill in the very north of Scotland. And uh, that's the Dun, the Dun Plain, the kind of the, 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 the Sallow Plain. And Blar and Oer. So there are place names all throughout. And that's really um, the main part of this one, uh, of this little course, is get yourself an OS map uh, if you live in or find any of the Highlands and Islands you're familiar with or would like to visit. And try and find as many place names as you can which use colours. Okay. Uh, sometimes the place names will have been anglicised and the following guide, you'll see it there, that's on the Orange Survey. Orange Survey is an excellent resource for helping uh, people. Um, research Gaelic names and we'll usually give the common anglicisations um, which usually uh, have destroyed the meaning or, or have obscured the meaning uh, from the original Gaelic and if you want to as well you'll find out what other Gaelic place names mean you can use factor.com to help you but just get a list time work out what they are it's just a great way to pick up vocabulary and explore Gaelic's relevance to you uh, as, as somebody um, who's a learner. So, just in closing, we'll finish off this one here. You're a Gaelic learner. Nach buyegut. And in Gaelic, the colour yellow is very lucky. So if people say that you are lucky, nach buyegut. Aren't you lucky? Lucky you. Nach buyegut. So, nach buyegut. Tap alive. Cheerie.